up on another midnight walk with exploring with Jay. I know it's been a while. I got a sprained ankle. It's hard for me to walk around. We're going to do the best we can. I'm at a boardwalk. Don't know if it's haunted, but it certainly is creepy. Should we go take a look? Man, I was blinded by the light. Just walking in over behind me here. Something ran up underneath the dock, the size of a dog. I'm assuming it was a raccoon, but I don't know. Weird. So far, this thing's been pretty well lit. They put this in a few years ago. By the way, I am actually walking underneath Highway 36 at the moment. We're walking with would be Keller Lake. Ooh. Wanna give me a kiss? Ah, he moved. Sorry if I got a bit of a hobble tonight, guys. I got a sprained ankle. I don't know how I did it. it just started hurting a couple days ago. But I'll tell you what, man. I don't know if it's my, my mind creeping myself up, but I like seeing shadows and shit. I know up in this tree up here, which you can't really see because it's so dark out. Used to be a bald eagle's nest. I'm gonna apologize for the wind too. Jesus Christ! Ginormous ass bug. Now that ain't a creepy looking tree. Right there. Sorry for the noise too. I got Highway 36 right on my left. Should quiet down a little bit once we get in here a little farther. Again, I apologize if the wind's really bad. Beautiful night though, my goodness. Bugs are minimal. It's about 70 degrees. I just heard a noise. It's my right. So we got the lake to my right. A little bit of woods in between. A little pond on my left and then the highway. Years ago, there used to be a parking lot down here that you could pull into. Right on the 61 on ramp. And uh, there was actually some pretty good fishing down here at one point. Uh, my uncle showed it to me years ago. I got to utilize it two, maybe three times. And then they put a barricade up so you couldn't pull in there. 
that ain't a creepy looking tree. My goodness. Oh, <laughs> can you see it? I see it on the camera. There's a spider web right there. I was just about to walk in that bad boy. Ooh, another one. Oh, we're getting into the creepy stuff. I've seen deer cross the, the where the bridge is there. I've seen them right, swim right across that channel. Wow. Only bad part is my light is really attracting the bugs. Creepy. Oh. Hello? I swear I heard footsteps. Now, <clears throat> I don't know of any ghost stories of any kind about this lake. There was someone that thought was uh, their body was dumped in this lake at one time. It was still winter out. Um, I don't remember the whole story, but uh, they found like a bloody pillowcase and a shoe or something like that in a bag which everybody thought that this victim was in the water uh, was killed and dumped in the water and uh, the family literally searched this lake for months with an underwater camera, dive team searched it, um, found absolutely nothing. And that for good reason, because she was actually not even there. Um, they later found her body several months after the fact uh, in the Mississippi River, uh, almost right underneath the Robert Street Bridge. It was in the news and whatnot, but very sad story. But uh, I guess the killer, which I believe was a uh, boyfriend or something like that, threw the bag of bloody clothes in this lake to throw investigators off to buy himself time. So they'd search this area and that. Mississippi where he actually had dumped her. 
but uh, that's about all I know about that. So I don't know of any undue happenings here, but I keep getting the feeling I've got people, somebody walking behind me. I can tell you that much. These bugs are relentless. Oh, a little lightning in the background. Now this goes into a parking lot and then goes along Highway 61. We won't go that far. Go around the bend here. I'm just out for a stroll. Let lightning bugs out here. Now, this is the great state of Minnesota. We got no alligators to worry about. No dangerous snakes to worry about. For the most part, no dangerous spiders to worry about. You might get your ankle gnawed on by a raccoon or something, but... Somebody was fishing here. I don't know what makes them think they can fish here? Ew. Lots of pond scum. Ah, oh, man, my ankle hurts. But, gotta put on another YouTube video. Besides that, it's a beautiful night. Kid has no school tomorrow. I get to sleep in. Because I don't have to work tomorrow. Creepiest damn graveyard. Let's see what's wrong with Ben here. Size of that thing. It's like a dragonfly. Man, it's fucking creepy. Like I'm being followed. Who knows what's lurking out there? I haven't seen any bats. I think with all these bugs flying around, you'd be seeing some bats.
low. You ever been out on a dock? You're fishing. You're concentrating on what's right in front of you. And you feel the dock move all of a sudden. You turn around and there's somebody stepping on the dock to walk out towards you to do some fishing of their own. That movement of the dock is what I keep feeling. It's like as I walk it has its own movement but every now and then it's like there's an extra couple of steps in there. Really creepy. Alright, up ahead is the parking lot, so I'm going to stop here. We'll go back, see if anything's been following us here. So yeah, this is the uh, boardwalk at Keller Lake, late at night. I'm seeing shit now. Ugh. A lot of lightning bugs out here. off in the distance. Kind of has this dark and stormy night appeal to it. So, you guys know that uh, I live in the Twin Cities metro area. Um, got any places you'd like me to go and film, leave, uh, leave it in the comments. I'll be uh, more than willing to check it out. Um, if you want to keep it private, where you don't want me to expose the name of it throughout the world, but would still like me to film it, you can email me the location of it and just tell me that uh, you don't want me to reveal the location or the name of the place and I will do such. I will not reveal the location or the name of the place but still go and film it. Just like the, uh, the resort that I'll be going up to in August, the abandoned resort, I'm not going to say the name, I'm not going to give the location of it but I'm going to go up and film it. This place has virtually been untouched for the most part since the 70s. Few respectable campers know where it is, few respectable hunters know where it is. And there is absolutely no graffiti, no vandalism. It's all natural decay from it sitting there and rotting in the woods for the last 50 years. So because of that, not that I don't trust y'all, but I'm going to keep to the YouTuber's code. And I'm not going to reveal the location of this place and the name of this place. But I'll still tell you all about it. I'm going to have a uh, kind of a sneak peek preview of the place coming out here shortly. I'm still compiling. Uh, information, photos, music, stuff like that to edit the video, the trailer video, if you will. So, yeah. If you know a name, place, or something like that you want me to check out, let me know. I'd be happy to do so. Let's be quiet.
didn't make the move, I didn't make it solid, it just suddenly stopped. Frogs are cool. Yeah, you can kind of see back over here. That's Highway 36. It's a nice little boardwalk. It kind of connects all the lakes together now. For years, they really weren't connected together. Keller and Phelan kind of had their own little thing going. Well, Keller. I'm telling you. Color around and feeling had their own thing going together. Um, and then they're kind of, then you got Spoon, Jarvis, and Coleman. Coleman's just been kind of the forgotten about Lake. In fact, if you got the right boat, you can't really even get back there. But the only boat launch to get to these lakes. Keller, Spoon, Jarvis, and Coleman is on Spoon itself. It's not that great of a boat launch. We don't even have a dock set up for it. So. There's no railing on this side. Yeah, right up above my head somewhere. There was a bald eagle's nest for several years. And I believe the DNR moved it because they're doing some sewer construction in the area and didn't want to disturb the birds. So they moved, they knocked down the nest and moved it. Yeah. yeah I know. Doesn't make much sense, does it? Either way, the nest isn't there anymore. Nest that sat there for probably 15 years is gone. Anybody want some rhubarb? Some rhubarb pie? <laughs> That'd be just about right. I used to eat that stuff when I was a kid. Some big 
trees around here though. back up towards the highway here so it's gonna get a little bit louder at least a little easier to see though the lights from the freeway just can't ask for a more beautiful night If you want to interact with me a little bit more, uh, Exploring with Jay is on Facebook. I am on Twitter. Feel free to send me a friend request. That'd be another way you can contact me too if uh, you've got a location you'd like me to check out. Is that anywhere in the metro area? Caves. Sewers, creepy wooden docks, <laughs> abandoned stuff, whatever. I'm down for it. Even do a collab, man. My spidey senses must be tingling. I'm holding it on every little thing that moves right now. One thing I will say about this lake though, the milfoil in this lake is absolutely horrendous. There's a lot of it. So if you're gonna get in this lake and fish it, you got to do it early before the weeds set in because otherwise this entire lake will literally be covered in milfoil from shore to shore and here's the interesting thing about this lake is the entire lake is uh, 8 feet deep at the most all the way around Jarvis is a little deeper. I think it gets around like 60, 60 feet deep. Coleman, I'm not sure. A lot of times you see swallows in here too. I don't see any nests though. So they did just rebuild this bridge not long ago. I'm kind of curious how they, they get wet doing that. L-O-C-A, locals. That's what that means. That's what that says. So did they get wet? Oh, I wonder if they didn't do it in the wintertime when it was all ice. Oh, did you hear that duck? I heard that duck. There's ducks out there. I wonder what kind of duck that was. Creepy at night though. Now this is spoon. Bolt launches directly across the lake over there. Then there's a parking lot over there, both of which have restroom houses. And the lights stay on until about eleven o'clock. Now keep in mind guys, this is about 1 a.m. right now. 
give or take. Oh, hold on. Let's see what time it is. 109. 109 in the morning. Yeah, my truck is still there. That's good. Now, when I came through here, something ran down here underneath the dock. It went right up to the dock, stood on its hind legs for a few seconds, tried to get the flashlight on it, but then it dipped underneath the dock. No idea where it went after that. Pretty sure, though, it was a raccoon. It was a big raccoon, though, I'll tell you that. The size of a fucking dog. But anywho, I'm about to wrap this video up. Do my outro. Coming up to the truck here anyway. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, I appreciate you taking a walk with me tonight. A little bit of an adventure and a very creepy uh, boardwalk. <clears throat> and uh, again, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. Feel free to uh, reach out to me. I'm willing to do any kind of collab or whatever. Um, I do have a PayPal account. If you wish to donate, you don't have to. Nobody has yet, but I try, you know, any little bit helps, gas money to go out and do these places. This is actually a place that's very close to my house, so it's kind of nice. But, again, hope you enjoyed our walk this evening. Make sure I'm not stepping on anything here. And, uh, as always, guys, you have a good, pleasant evening. <laughs>